What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, and we're back from the Memorial Day weekend to talk about, oh, Logan Allen. Logan Allen had 10 strikeouts yesterday in seven innings against the Orioles, and I want to show you guys how he does. We're going to watch the second and third inning, so let's get straight to it here in the second inning. It's a 92-mile-per-hour fastball. He tries to pinpoint that around the zone um, in both sides, and that's a cutter that comes in at 88, and I love that. He tries to go away, get a guy leaning, and then tries to get inside with a cutter. But it's not really, uh, you know, he just didn't execute it here. But I think that actually right there sums up Logan Allen. We've seen a lot of guys who are more, hey, just throw strikes, get the ball in the zone, we'll see what happens. And they're battling themselves more than they are the batter. But Logan Allen is someone that actually does sequencing, that actually says, okay, sure, I'm not necessarily going to execute all the, all the stuff perfectly, like he you know, just missed those two pitches. But he is going to be a command-focused pitcher and less of just here's my stuff and hopefully I can just get around the zone and it will work out. So 2-0 and here. He wants to get a strike. Doesn't steal a fastball away, so 3-0. He's probably just going to pump fastball in here. And he does, 92. That's fine with me. Oh, and he gets a gift there at uh, a slider at 3-1. Um, 83, maybe Kimi said that's the curve. No, that is the slider that he throws. It doesn't really throw a curveball. Barely gets the dot of it, so you know what? Robo Ums would have given that to him, so there you go. Now, 3 2. The really cool thing that I saw from Logan Allen yesterday was a changeup that was away from right handers a decent amount. Looks like, I mean, I would have called that uh, if I didn't see the, the catcher setting up, which means to me it's likely going to be either a cutter inside. Or a fastball trying to dot that. And I love this approach of going inside and outside from Logan Webb. Oh, I'm sorry, Logan Webb. Oh, man. Logan Allen. And that's a fastball down at 93. And I love this. Again, east-west, right? Executed that pitch as a strike. So now you can go change up away. Oh, and he goes with, a, I think, a slider? Uh, it could have been the change up. It's hard to tell. He's a little bit on the left. And I noticed there was some dip at 83. I don't know what Urias is swinging out there. That's... That's a gift. They're saying it is a changeup. Okay. There is a back door. That, I feel, is a curveball at 78. Uh, that's some free real estate. You'll love to see that. So good. Already starting off this better, much be better, much better. Fastball inside. Oh! You know, my number one favorite skill. I mean, there's two of them. One, as a lefty going against righties, to be able to throw that fastball inside because you will get this like there you go you just got a quick out on the second pitch move on you know um also being able to get swings on fastballs too far inside just in general i talk about with zach wheeler all the time the 51 percent o swing on a sinker is so ridiculous that's chases out of the zone on a fastball now traditionally you see around 30 percent and that's kind of like the threshold for like oh, okay this is doing all right to have a 51 percent from zach wheeler is just stupid that is cool that that a removable helmet? That is cool. Get tickets for that. That's that's insane. Oh my gosh. Price of admission right there. You can just leave. Uh, 93 misses away. Okay. Hey, and he has a slider now. And well, that's an interesting swing. I uh, Very, very interesting. Because uh, you can see that he's behind on this. Like, he's not... He's not primed for this. He's he's trying to get time for the fastball and he realizes that it's a breaking ball. And it's one of those times, like, just in general in life, you feel like you're given an opportunity, so thus you have to take advantage of it. But if it's not the opportunity that you wanted just a moment ago, don't, don't go and get it. Like, someone says, like, oh, no, I've got an opportunity. Buy this for $5. And you're, like, really weirded out by it? Just don't buy it. Just don't buy it. It's the same situation you were before and you were content. And it's a 1-0 count. And he wasn't looking for this pitch, so... Just let it go in. That's all. You don't need a swing. Maybe that's called a ball. Maybe that you, if you get that, it's a pop out. So, take into account this fantastic sequencing from Logan Allen. Fastball up and in, which then of course sets up the slider down away at two one. He gets the foul ball way out in front. So then now, you get Adam Frazier not knowing what's going to come next, and you throw a fastball upstairs for ninety two that blows him away. That kind of sequencing is what makes Logan Allen a legitimate pitcher in the majors. There you go. There's, you know, scare him with, with that and go down away. Make the adjustment. Ah, I love adjustments. 
He made the adjustment! You know, I see this so often. I see guys throw way out of the zone, and then the next pitch comes and it's the same thing. Logan Allen makes the adjustment. Good job. That's so important. That's a huge difference between a, a veteran and a rookie. Guys that are inefficient pitchers versus those that are actually able to go deep in games. To make adjustments on the fly. He didn't need to turn to something else. That's a cutter. It's too far inside. Now you throw something away. Oh, cool. It's just not showing anything. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know what that was, but good job going down and in. If it's a changeup, cool. I probably would imagine that's the breaking ball. And it kind of looks like it's in a dangerous location, but 2-1 probably wasn't expecting that. So McKenna didn't do anything with it. Oh, that's nice. Kind of looked like the changeup that that uh, came inside, but maybe it was a slider. I don't. I can't tell. Weird, weird angle on that, but man, that's really good. Got it down off speed, looking for more of the heat. Great stuff there from Logan Allen. There is the breaker. Free real estate. You love to see it. Oh, there is that cutter coming in. That's really far off the plate, and that's pretty much saying like, look, he's looking for a fastball. So that's two straight pitches. He didn't swing on the first one, and I uh, swung over that one. You don't give him that fastball. Yeah, get that changeup away. Yes! Oh! That is sexy. Three different off-speed pitches, all executed, right? You have the breaker coming in uh, for free real estate. You have the cutter coming in even too far, and it's still got the result you wanted. And then you throw a perfect changeup. I mean, this is perfect. He's been looking for a fastball the entire at-bat. Oh, man. Glorious. That's how you execute. And the thing is, like, nothing in there is particularly elite in that. The locations are, but the pitches itself, that changeup, I've seen changes like that from other guys, but it's because it's spotted so well, that's what made it work in the sequencing, of course, before. And what do you know? More free real estate from Logan Allen. Ah, uh, he's trying to get the slider away. That's a little too far, right? Uh, Mullins wasn't going to swing at that one. He, he was following it all the way through, which means I was... Hmm. So, so, so look at the body language of Mullins here. Leaning away with it, right? You see a batter lean away with a pitch like that and follow it and track it? That tells me he's on it. That tells me he's not going to go and chasing it. So I wouldn't actually throw another secondary. I wouldn't, Sorry, I wouldn't throw another uh, slider like this. He's not chasing this. I mean, sure, again, it's too far away. I would have gone fastball in here. So now at 2-1, you got to adjust here. Yeah, right. 93, not able to get up to it, right? Right, that's actually a very hittable 2-1 pitch if he's looking for a fastball. Maybe even if he is, because of the slower stuff before, he's not up for that. So body language does a lot. Yeah, Mullins was on. I mean, he didn't execute a good slider in any of that bat. So we'll see what would have happened. But he was on the slider the entire time there. Uh, that's all at the end of the bats. And this is, uh, I love how the announcer said the same thing. This looks like a changeup first pitch. Yeah, free real estate and got an out. Like, that's good stuff. I mean, that's Logan Allen, guys. Like, that, that's execution across a, a kind of a kitchen sink of stuff and then moving around. That is what good pitching looks like. And it makes me confident that Logan Allen is a major leaguer. You know, that looked like Marco Gonzalez and Martin Perez in their primes of, yeah, moving around the zones and, and actually being a pitcher, you know? And especially pitching for the Guardians, like, you're going to see a lot of six-inning games from Logan Allen this year. Uh, it makes me feel as if throughout the season, Logan Allen is going to avoid the constant blow-ups. I mean, sure, he's going to have those games where he's going to labor a little bit more. But if this kind of command is legit, which it feels like it is for Logan Allen, I... Uh, Guardians have a very good one, and uh, it's really exciting to see that from from Logan Allen here. And maybe that changeup actually is becoming more and more of that pitch because that was that looks so and so so good. I love to see it. But anyway, that is Logan Allen, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for letting me know who you want me to cover in these. Um, I was thinking about doing Bryce Miller, but he got destroyed, and I don't really feel like I need to tell you that. Yeah, the fastball got hit. <laughs> um, it's okay. It happens. But make sure you leave in the comments who you want me to cover in this. I'm looking at all of them. I think this was a fun one to cover to give you a better understanding of really how, as a pitcher, without that overwhelming electric stuff, Logan Allen is getting it done. 
But that is it. So my name is Nick Pollock. And may your babbits be low and your strikeouts high.